This is Chris Garriott, FAE with Silex Technology America. Today I will be demonstrating how to add Wi-Fi functionality to the Freescale i.mx6 Sabre Smart Devices Evaluation Platform using the SX PCEAN2, a dual-band 802.11abgn mini PCIe radio module with optional industrial temperature support. The SX PCEAN 2i uses Qualcomm Technologies AR9592 chip, which brings 2x2 MIMO support to offer theoretical maximum throughput of up to 300 megabits per second. Okay, let's get started. To complete the steps in the video, you will need to purchase the shown evaluation platform and the radio module, the i.mx6 series Sabre Smart Devices Board, and the Silex Technologies SXPCEAN2 Mini PCIe Radio Module. The Sabre SD Evaluation Kit is available directly from Freescale or through one of its authorized distribution partners. To purchase the Silex Technology PCEAN2 Sample Pack, please contact Silex directly using the information provided at the end of this video. The SXPCEAN2 Sample Pack comes with a 2 dBi dipole antenna and cable, as well as the SX PCEAN2 module itself. Once you've opened the i.mx6 Sabre Smart Devices Evaluation Kit, you'll find the following items. Universal power supply, SD card with an Android image, a USB cable, and most importantly, the i.mx6 evaluation card. In addition to i.mx6 and the SX PCEAN2, you will also need the following items for the purpose of this demo an HDMI monitor, a USB keyboard and mouse, an 8GB SD card, a USB hub, a micro USB OTG adapter, and a mounting screw and nut. Silex has created a custom SD card image for the Sabre evaluation platform to enable the SXPCEAN2. This image can be downloaded directly from the Silex website or by contacting Silex Sales. Instructions on how to write this image to the SD card for both Windows and Linux, are available via application note. Now that everything's out of the box, let's start hooking things up. I've already installed the SXPCEAN2 module and connected the antenna. Installing the module requires a mounting screw and nut to secure it to the board. Now we'll connect the USB OTG adapter and attach the USB hub. The USB hub has been previously connected to the mouse and keyboard. Next, plug in the SD card with the Silex image and connect the HDMI cable to the monitor. Then connect the console cable. This is connected directly to the USB port on the laptop. Finally, connect the power and turn on the board. Now that the operating system has booted, I'll be demonstrating how to enable the wireless interface through the laptop console and then browsing the web directly through the Sabre SD kit. In the terminal, I type the following commands. ifconfig-a will show me the list of available network interfaces. I can verify that WLAN 0 has been created and now run the command to bring WLAN 0 up. Now that the network interface is enabled, let's go ahead and scan for some available networks. We do this to make sure that the radio is functioning properly. As you can see, there are many available wireless networks to choose from. This is good because it not only tells us that our radio is functioning, but that our antenna is connected properly. Let's now connect to the Silex test network. In order to pull an IP address automatically, we have to enable DHCP. We do this with the dhclient command. Now, let's go ahead and check that we're properly connected. We do this with the link command. Perfect. Everything looks like it's running. And now we'll move to the IMX6 to verify in the web browser. Now that we're connected, let's see what we can do. The most obvious thing is to take a look at the web. So let's go over to Firefox and open up a web page.
you can see that we've navigated to the Freescale homepage. This tells us that we're connected to the internet. Now for fun, let's go ahead and go to the Silex homepage. So there you have it. The boards are up and running, they're connected wirelessly to an access point, and we're browsing the web. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you have any additional questions or would like to discuss your application, please contact Silex Technology using the information shown here. We welcome your call.